Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you a beautiful centerpiece. For inspiration, I look to the 2016 colors of the year, rose quartz and serenity, but then I wanted to update to the autumn season by adding fabulous textures, and it's perfect for autumn, and still has that lovely blush that's so popular of the rose quartz. The first step, soaking foam with flower food and then setting it into the trifle bowl. But I didn't want the foam to show, so inside I used lovely bark pieces. Just wrapped it around different sizes so that it tucked in and out to create the beginning of the texture. Then to enhance, I'm going to take one more piece, a long one, and using the U-glue strips, pull it off add it to the bark. I'm using it on both sides of the bark. That way it will adhere to the bowl and then wrap around and adhere to itself. Place your largest flowers first. The sedum with its heavier stem, giving it a cut and then setting it down into the foam, making sure it'll drink well, getting at least a two inch insertion. The hydrangea, so fabulous, giving it a cut. Again, making sure it'll get down into the foam. And then I use the alum, the pickling spice, just dip it into the alum and then place it down into the foam. The alum you'll find at your grocery store in the pickling area with your spices and it does make your hydrangea last so much longer. The sedum and hydrangea are also long lasting and it's beautiful on its own, but adding the serenity and rose quartz will just make it even more fabulous. Cutting it down, letting it come out, relaxing the design, softening it. Coming forward, kind of lifting and separating so I can find a spot. And then coming back with the roses, grouping them so that they have maximum value. Make sure they go down into the foam deeply enough to drink. They'll continue to open, fill out. And then as you're working, turn the bowl. Make sure that you go all the way around, radiating outward equally from all the sides. For a magical touch, I'm going to add one more bloom. The anemone, it's so delicate, so fabulous, so popular. You can see it blends beautifully with the arrangement, but they are a little more delicate. So rather than trying to put them into the foam where there's already so many stems, I'm going to use beautiful little picks. They're test tubes on a stick. They come in large, medium and small, three different sizes. In this particular design, the medium will be perfect. And I just fill the tube with water, then cut the blossom, set it in, and then making sure this tube stays upright, set that right down into the foam. When Pantone announced the colors of the year, rose quartz and serenity, last December, everybody went, oh, how can that be, pink and blue together? And then we started falling in love with it, but it really seemed like a spring and summer combination. But now you can see it's fabulous all year round, adding it with autumn textures, still grand. For more creative inspiration, check out our website, flowerschool.com. If you have questions, if you're looking for supplies, you can reach us through there or by telephone at 503-223-8089. And as you create, take a picture, send it to me at my personal email, leanne at floraldesigninstitute.com, or post it and hashtag Floral Design Institute so we all can see. Now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.